Oh dear. Oh, they're coming. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at that. It's working. It's work. Oh, they're still coming. They're still coming. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that might be more frightening than bombs. Oh, oh, they're coming. Oh boy. Oh boy. They haven't let. Oh. <gasps> YouTube Komodo Gaming here bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs and today Bob is back or should I say General Bob you know because he got upgraded to General because the city thought that was smart but anyways today we have some major testing going on and this is all for good reason we have word that the Brick Rigs Desert Worms might be invading the city soon so Bob and the Brick Rigs Armed Forces are gonna do all they can to test here today now the city themselves, they said, Bob, you can no longer test directly in the city. You need to go out to the airfield because uh, apparently we've destroyed the city too many times. I mean, it's only been like 20, 30, 40, maybe 50 times. Not really sure, kind of lost count, but still, anyways, uh, we have a simulated city out here that we're going to be doing some testing in today. So yeah, I've got some really great creations to check out here today. If you want to download anything that you see in this episode, it's going to be down in the description. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's jump right into the testing. Alright, so here we are in our simulated city. These are all Waffle Co. buildings. If you don't know who Waffle Co. is, he's a fantastic builder on the workshop. And somebody took uh, basically all of his buildings, or a lot of his buildings, and placed them all into one creation. So you're looking at about 11,000 bricks worth of buildings. And you'll probably notice quite a few of these. Uh, I think we've used the cinema here. You got the bank, you got the arcade, the... is this the internet cafe? I don't remember this building. Hey look, there's Bob's. Hey Bob's. Oh, they're serving coffee. All right, well, <laughs> you guys are going to be in the crossfire here in a second. Uh, the police station over there. Of course, there's Waffles Diner Car. We made that fly a couple episodes ago with a uh, crash. Uh, there's a dealership. This is a grocery store. And, hey, there's a gas and wash station. Cool. All right, Bobs, are we ready to go here? Uh, oh, there's a lost chimpanzee. Please call that uh, if any of you guys know where that chimpanzee is. All right, so what we have here today, we have Desert Worms Forces. Uh, these are all just dummies, so I can just, yeah, just light it up. And you can see, uh, it doesn't scream. It's perfectly fine. These are all fake Desert Worms, but we're simulating an invasion of the city. So, what we have here, this is actually by a Discord member. His name is Dragons, or I think he goes by Kung Wu on his workshop now. Uh, this is the tiny, or the big tiny bomb. This little device here is a total of 500 bricks. I know it doesn't look like 500 bricks, but it, it somehow is. I don't, I don't understand what he did here. But what we've done, I have strategically placed these on the street. So you got one here, one there, one there, one there, and one there. So in theory, I should be able to activate one of these, and it should set the rest of them off. So say if we have an army marching up the streets, we can take them out in one blow. Now, one thing Bob didn't actually think about, what about collateral damage? You know, we're going to be taking out quite a bit of stuff. You know, it's fine. It's, this is how it normally goes. Uh, we're ready to activate this. All right. The big, tiny bomb. Uh, this really didn't come with an instruction manual. Do I just hop into... Wait. Wait, I don't want to be on the inside of this when this goes off. Hold on. Hmm. We need to activate this from a distance. A safe distance. Got an idea. Let's, uh, let's back off here. I kind of hope I can shoot this thing. All right, so we're slow down time. That way we can see the glory here. So let's go. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. That didn't go. Uh oh, uh, I can't see. What? What? Why? Why does that pack such a punch? Uh oh. Uh oh. Close me. Oh, wait. Why? Okay, the other ones are going off. Oh, it was so delayed. Okay, that was two of them. Uh oh, the don oh no, the donut factory. Oh, all right. Let's see, the other one's gonna go off here. Speed up time. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, the internet cafe's uh, on fire. Just ignore the bobs in there. Oh. Okay, what is in the internet? Oh, <laughs> we did it. We did it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if this is really accept- Why is this stuff out there blowing up? 
Um. Huh. You know, we did take out the arm. Oh. Why is it still exploding? All right. So. Oh. What is what does Waffle line his buildings with bombs? So. Um. Uh, hmm. Why do I feel like that was a bit much to take out those uh, troops? Maybe we should try a cleaner method. Well, I'd actually flip the internet cafe. You know, wait, that one didn't go off. Hold on. Uh, uh. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> Why is stuff still blowing up here? You know, I swear Waffles, he does line his buildings up with explosives. Uh, let's see, where are the brick rigs? Oh. Well, here's the desert worms. Hmm, I feel like that worked out pretty good. Oh, propane or propane. Eh, did that go off? No, that doesn't go off. Okay, I thought it would. That works. I mean, we technically we did take out the uh, the armed or the desert worms, but um, hmm. I feel like we could do a better job there. You know, that was kind of a delayed explosion. Uh, let's set that up again. I got an idea. All right, so Bob found a new way to activate the bombs. This is the Bane Blade. This is by Styx. So, this is actually, I think, a Warhammer 40k tank. But this is probably one of the meanest looking tanks I've ever seen. So, how does this saying, uh... Oh. Was that... How many cannons just went off there? Hold on. Oh, dear. All right, so it's three cannons, two machine guns. Oh, yeah, hold on. Do we have different cameras? Oh, uh, we have cameras mounted on each of the guns. You know, I was... Oh. Hey. hey. This is a pretty... This is like a little troop transport area? Oh, this is nice. Wow. Alright, so that is very impressive. But, we have some business at hand. Man, if we had tons of these tanks, I don't think the uh, the Desert Worms would be able to even get close to the city. Uh, let's go ahead and back up here. So, I've added more fun to the little uh, town up here. Let's go ahead. We're going to stop about right here. Alright, so you can see uh, I've added a couple of the big tiny bombs here. So, in theory, we should clean this area out completely. Uh, let's see. Let's go in alt mode. Does this thing go? Okay, it does go up and down. How's the, uh, how's the aim? I don't think it's going to matter how good the aiming is here, so... Let's go ahead and slow down that time real quick. Let it settle out and boom. Uh oh, oh, we're a little short. Oh, here comes the uh, other round's gonna go. Oh, little, little short. Okay, let's go a little up. And uh, uh oh, oh, that's looking like a hit there. It's gonna hit it directly. Oh, it hits a tiny bomb directly. Yes. Yes, okay, it's gonna start a chain reaction here. Let's go and back up. Oh, this is about to get not pretty, folks. I kind of want to do this in full speed to see how fast this happens. All right, there's... Wait, what? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Stuff's exploding. Stuff's exploding. What? You can't tell me setting those that close together doesn't actually set them off. Hmm, maybe we need a different city defense. Oh, we still have uh, a little bit of business here. We gotta set the rest of these off real quick. Uh, let's go here. How's that looking? It's a little bit closer. Still a little bit, a little bit hard to aim. Oh, never mind it. That was up oh, there. We go. They all just went off. Oh wow. <laughs> There comes 11,000 bricks. Oh, wow. Okay, full speed. Well, uh, oh, there's, wait. How are these not going off in the blast? That's amazing. Well, we did clear out the uh, the desert worms. I will give it that. All right, Bob's gonna get danger close here. Uh, we need to go in and do a little bit of cleanup. Oh, there's a little bit of desert worms in my tracks. <laughs> Uh, let's see, there is still two explosives waiting to go here, so let's go... Okay, a little bit up. Oh, up, oh. Up, a little to the left. Now, oh, come on. Hit it. Wow, I cannot aim. There we go, there's that one. Is that another one still sitting there? 
What happens if we run these over? How do these uh, act as far as anti-vehicle uh, weapons? Let's go ahead. We're going to actually run over the last little uh, tiny bomb there. We have made a mess. Actually, what was that? Was that the gas station? Wow, it's completely gone. The other buildings are all together. Uh, but we're going to try to... Let's run this over real quick. Let's go here. Slow it down. Let's get in front of it. How does this work as an anti-vehicle weapon? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that... Wait, no. Huh. Oh. All right, folks, we made a mess. Question is, am I disabled, vehicle-wise? Uh, I think I am. I think the wheels are broken. But actually, the vehicle itself held up really good. Uh, we might be adding this to the Brick Rigs uh, Armed Forces little arsenal. Or we, we like to call it the weapons closet. Uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty sturdy tank. All right, I think it's time to move on to the next test. All right, so the Desert Worms have been known to use some questionable tactics when it comes to taking down the enemy. Uh, they like to run explosive things into your buildings. So, we're going to run a control test here. Uh, we're going to simulate a Desert Worms charge right into the town and see what happens. And then we're going to see what type of barricades and maybe minefields we need to stick up around town that way we can actually block this. So yeah, this is a really cool creation by Toporus. It's just like a charge and everything's gonna blow up situation. Uh, similar to his For Mother Russia creation, which was a bunch of tanks that would actually shoot. Except for I think these are a little bit more on the explodey side. So, uh, ooh. Bob, you might want to find a safe place to stand. Let's, uh, let's walk over here. All right, explodey charge, take one. Oh, those are loud. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Oh, no, it's going to hit. Okay, no, it's fine. That one's already blown up. All right, so what does an explosive charge? Oh, we've lost a truck. We've lost a truck. Oh, this looks terrible. Oh, they're lifting off. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, my. What? Wait. That's doing way more damage than I thought it would. <laughs> Oh my, it just literally launched buildings like that. The movie theater is uh, the movie theater is completely gone, I think. Oh, there still goes one. What is going on? I almost have to just do that again to watch it. That was amazing. Uh, okay, <laughs> full speed. Wow. That was the, uh, oh, there's the movie theater. It's basically in half and collapsing. Uh, we lost it. Uh, we lost... Wasn't there a building right beside it? Huh. Alright, we need to do one more control test. I'm actually going to hit it from the, uh, the side. And then we'll try to figure out what we need to place here to block something like that. Alright, here we go. We're going to try this one more time, except for I've set the town sideways. So, we'll see if this actually has a different effect. I have a feeling this will actually be more devastating, so... Slow this down. Hmm, I'm trying to think of the best tactic to stop these. Uh, ideally, I don't know why one just blew up in the back. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I think I have an idea as to how to stop these. You gotta basically blow them all up and up. Here we go. Here we go. What in the heck is this? I don't think I've ever seen something like this in Brick Rigs because it's got such a wide radius for the explosion. It, it kind of reminds me... I guess something like the orbital cannon, how wide its uh, impact was, but this is a little bit different because of all the uh, different pieces that it lets out. And it is wait, what? What's blowing up over here? Okay, buildings. Like, look at this. The internet cafe is. Wait, wasn't there people in this? Hold on. Are there, are there still Bob's ordering? Co no, the Bob's I think are gone out of it. <laughs> I was gonna ask if Bob's were still ordering coffee in there, but oh wow. All right, full speed. You know, I really like the Four Mother Russia creation, but I must say that one just feels way more explosive. Uh, I like that. Uh, let's uh, let's see what we can place in front of it to see if we can stop it. All right, so we have a minefield here. I actually think this is going to work. These are the minefields with the sensors on them. So we're going to start to charge up way back here, and they're going to have all this distance to cover uh, to get to the town. Now, ideally... 
We've got Mr. General Bob here. He's uh, manning probably a 50 cal machine gun. Hopefully, I can actually take out a lot of those trucks before they even make it over here to the town. This almost sounds like a fun multiplayer challenge. Too bad you can't spawn some of these items in multiplayer. Uh, definitely not spawn in that town. But, let's see, how does this work? Okay, what's the targeting like? Is it is it the center one? I'm going to assume it's the center one. So, what we're going to do, this is actually going to come at me a lot faster than I think it's going to. Uh, this is going to be probably pretty frightening. Uh, let's go ahead and start these up here. Let's let them catch some speed. Okay, swap off them. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, they're coming. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at it. It's working. It's work. Oh, they're still coming. They're still coming. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I think the barrel just got knocked off. Oh, oh, they're in the minefield. They're in the minefield. <laughs> oh, did, did we protect the... Huh. Wow, did one get by or was that just the pieces? Was that the forward momentum of the pieces? I almost felt like we somewhat protected the town. That actually, uh, that somewhat worked. I'm kind of proud. Actually, three trucks got by on the right side. But look, the only thing that we lost in the town was the, uh, the gas and a uh, wash there. Everything else was pretty protected. What is insane, and this is one of the best things about brick rigs and the explosions in it, the, uh, the pieces were going so fast forward. Look at some of the holes they made in, like, this building here. Oh, I'm pretty sure this building got peppered. Yeah, you can see a little bit on the corner there. That's insane. I kind of want to do that one more time to see if we can completely stop it. Uh, let's set that up again. All right, here we go again. We're letting them get their little start here. They might be aimed a little to the right. Here we go. All right, let's take them out. Take them out. Head for the, the center one is the one we want to hit and see if we can start a chain. Oh, look at the pieces flying towards us. Oh, this is insane. Hey, we're doing it. Oh, and got one there. Uh, take that car out. Take that car out. We did it. Oh, there's pieces flying everywhere. Uh-oh, that might be a mistake with the minefield. Some of these pieces might activate some mines. Hold on. Let's stop. Okay, now we're going to turn around. What does the town look like? Look at it. We did it. We pretty much saved the town. Anything get damaged? Oh, there's a piece there. Uh, some canisters made it into the town. We did it. That is a... Uh, that's actually really fun. I could probably do that about at least 10 more times. But that was insane. Just the amount of parts that were flying by us. Uh, that was really, really cool looking. Actually, you know, it looks the, uh, the... Ooh, it's got a little bit of damage here. The washing or... No, the washing gas. Where's the wash part of this anyways? Is there a... Is there a car wash part? Oh, it's around back. Okay, there it is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's roof got caved in by one of the canisters, but I would say uh, that's a minimal amount of damage there. I'm actually really impressed by that. So, we've got two different city defenses. We do have the tiny explosions, which I don't know how much we would use those in the city, but if we surrounded the city with minefields, I think we could pretty much stop any ground attacks. What if they come from above? Obviously, the Brick Riggs Armed Forces has a fantastic air force because we've seen tons of great planes, but... What happens if they attack with something else? All right, so we have two creations here by Sideways. We have the nuclear bomb cluster and the needle rain. Now, we've seen clusters before of bombs, but there's a lot of them here. This is what, total of nine, 11 bombs, I think? Uh, these are all of his different bombs that he's created before. So we're going to try this out against the town and see how it holds up. And then we're going to try something called the needle rain. And I'll let the creation itself explain kind of what that is. I, I don't know what's going to happen there. That's actually absolutely brutal. So uh, let's go ahead and spawn this. How does this... Uh, oh, oh, that looks terrible. All right. So this is going to go off immediately. Hold on. Spawn it. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was huge. All right. So uh, question is, place your bets. How much of the city is going to be left here? Would we be prepared for something like this? We might have to set some bunkers out. Yeah, I kind of want to set a bunker out, stick Bob in it, and see if he makes it. Let's do a control test first. Uh, that's looking good. Oh, that looks terrible, actually. Oh, let's go a little further this way. Oh, wow. Hold on. Let's get a view from the, uh, the town here. Where is it? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be bad. Slow it down. 
Oh, uh, say goodbye to the town. Oh. I think I missed. Did I miss? I somewhat missed. Actually, I landed directly on... Oh, I did... Oh, was that the wash? Yep. The washing gas is gone. You know, that surprisingly wasn't as devastating as I thought it was going to be. Hold on. Let's, uh... Oh. Let's drop another one on these. I think it's because it, they're so close together that if they were more spread out on the, uh... Actual landing there, this might be a little bit more... Oh, you can speed them up! Never mind! Uh-oh. I think they just ran into each other. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> where, where, where's the big ones? Oh, they're still coming! Oh, it's actually... Oh, that is ten times worse if you do it like that. That's how you're supposed to use that creation. <laughs> wow. All right, so the city is obviously not prepared for that. The question is, if we install a bomb shelter, would we be okay? All right, so this is a creation you guys have definitely seen before. This is the Grouchy Bomb Shelter. So we're going to set this right in the middle of the city, and we're going to drop that cluster right on top of us, and we'll see if Bob makes it out. Is the default seat, is it already in it? Hold on, let's, uh, let's get over here. So if I were to switch, am I... Oh, there's the cluster. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm already in it. So, oh, this would be terrible. Oh, we can actually do a first-person view of this. This is going to be cool. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get ready to drop these bad boys on here. And we're going to do it in full speed. And we're going to be inside of the bunker. So we'll see kind of what happens. Now, I'm not going to speed them up this time because... Uh, that's going to take a little bit of time for me to get it. I guess I could if I were to slow-mo them. Let me slow-mo them real quick. So we'll slow-mo. We'll get them going here. Uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to switch over here. All right, here we go. Full speed. Is Bob going to make this? They're coming. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They haven't let... <gasps> oh! Oh! Is Bob gonna make oh I can't tell what's at oh no that's not good all right well we uh we know Bob didn't make that I mean technically he did survive it but oh geez oh geez yep there's the top of the uh the bunker hmm well that is something that the city can do uh they need some improvement there because that didn't work at all for me that was actually kind of scary. I like that. That was cool. <laughs> All right. I've got one last test we're going to do here today. And then hopefully we will be pretty prepared for the attack from the desert worms. All right. So we have the needle bomb. That is, uh, that's frightening. So these, I guess, pick up speed and they impel everything from buildings, cars. I'm assuming Bob's. Oh, that is crazy looking. Huh? Let's run a uh, test here on the city. Uh, you never know. The uh, desert worms are pretty crazy. Let's see if this is something that could... Uh... Ooh. Oh, oh, hold on. I think we're off target a little bit. Let's move it over this way. See how these work. All right, let's get down here. Oh, that might be more frightening than bombs. Oh, oh, I missed. Oh, I can already tell you that is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. It barely skimmed the back of that building. Let's go. Let's go about right here. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, let's get down here. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, that just completely. That obliterates the. Oh. That's so cool because it doesn't use an explosion to obliterate the building. It just uses... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> okay, say goodbye to the internet cafe. Uh, let's drop that on the theater real quick and see what it does. So we're about right here. Uh, I kind of want to... I wish I could move to the theater. Maybe I can move into it real quick. Uh, let's go... That's looking pretty good. Let's go there. Slow down time. Okay, let's get... Bob out. All right, here we are again. We're in the theater. Let's go ahead and full speed. Oh boy. Where are they at? Oh, 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 they're hitting it. Oh, they're hitting it. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh oh, run, run. Oh, we're gonna get crushed by the building. 
You're not safe from those. Those might be worse than a bomb. Like, if you get hit directly by those, there's no escaping. Yeah, it penetrated through several floors of the theater. And then, of course, the theater's full of explosives, so that doesn't help it either. Huh. Man, the uh, Brick Riggs Armed Forces have a bit of planning to do here. Oh, boy. So, yeah, if you guys have any ideas how to defend and save the city, go ahead and comment below. Uh, no telling what the Brick Riggs Desert Worms are going to come at us with. But anyways, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Brick Riggs. If you have any suggestions for future Brick Riggs episodes, comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, we got to prepare for this possible invasion that's going to be happening here very soon. But yeah, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel in, uh... Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Well, I think it's time to man our battle stations.